I, in the I, building. I, I the street the executives. George Musselbach. DJ, DJ, DJ. Technique. What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Brink Young, and you are tuning in to the most award-winning talk show in Memphis and the Mid-South. The trophies are in the back. I'm talking about Brink TV. Now, do not adjust your TV set. We got a new face to the Brink TV show, but, hey, he coming all the way from Minnesota, or should I say Minnesota? Minnesota. I'm talking about the homie G.I. Jizzle and Young Smoke. What's happening with you, man? What's going on with you? Appreciate you for having me, OG, for hey, real. first and foremost, it means a lot to have you here on the couch, man. You made it all the way from Minnesota to the M, man. What's man? What's popping, man? Cause you got a lot going on. You got a single out right now. I'm talking about Tipper is out right now. Definitely. It's going ham. I'm talking about real ham on World Star and all of that. Crazy. It's on all the digital platforms. But in addition to that, you just linked up with Money Mayweather, man. Man, thanks to my boy King Pen Skinny Pen, man. Shout out him. First of all, we came from Minneapolis, Minnesota. You know what I mean? Drove out here with my camp. And we drove 12 hours, man, on my birthday. Wow, 12 hours. Here. Yes, sir. Man, that's dedication. Yes, that's real I dedication. Pulled over and everything in yeah. Missouri. Yeah. Had to bond out on the side of the highway. Wow. Yes, sir. Never heard of that. Yeah, <laughs> man, over a little, a little tree, but yeah. it wasn't nothing. Mine set back, set us back, but I had a uh, Kingpin Skinny Pimp. He lined up the Mayweather after party joint. Most definitely. And then we did the Diamonds and Memphis performance. Oh after that. man, yeah. one of the dopest Shake Giant strip clubs, whatever oh, you want to call it, in the city. I mean, ads everywhere. 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 The Southern hospitality is real. You know, we from the Midwest, yeah, man. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, we came down here, they showed us nothing but love. That yeah. Southern hospitality is real, man. Everybody's been definitely. real cool. Man, Skinny been showing us around the city, man, introducing us to all type of people. And you know, this is a music town, so we just been taking it all in. Man. Yeah. It's been a blessing, for real. Now, we got plenty. We're going to get into that a little bit more. But I want to talk about the Genesis, man. Let's talk about where you from originally. Because like I say, I got some family out there. Where you from originally, so, homie? Man, I'm originally from Gary, Indiana. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, man, 219, shout out them, man. I love it, man. I just shot a video out there uh, called uh, Gary. Gary, Gary figure, you know what I mean? Okay. But uh, okay. yeah, we definitely getting it in, man. They yeah. All behind me, 100%. Yeah. We're going to get it in, man, for real. I love my hometown. You know, it's the home of Michael Jackson. I go visit 2300 Jackson Street every time I come. You know what I mean? And my people deeply rooted in the city, man. So they ain't going nowhere. It's always love every time I come. You know what I mean? Most definitely. So around what age did you actually make the move to, to Minnesota, man? Well, my pops, he moved. Um, when I was like five and gotcha. I think you know a couple years later he convinced my mom to come up there and she couldn't deal with the cold so she was like I'm out of here and it was a lot of back and forth as a youngin you know what I mean I went to a lot of schools I went to St. I was in St. Paul at first yeah then I moved a, moved around a whole lot you know what I mean but uh, once I got grown and really got on my grown man you know Minneapolis been my home man, man. I've been getting it in out there for a long time Man, I definitely got to say shout out to Minneapolis. I actually yeah. used to date a girl in Minneapolis. There's so many fine women in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Oh, My goodness. And the snow bunnies. Snow bunnies. Oh, I see you. Wait. I see you. <laughs> so let, let, let's talk about Minnesota, man. Like, what's the music scene like there? The music scene, it's a whole lot of talent out there. You know what I mean? But it's not like, you know, the music towns like in Atlanta or Memphis or Houston where you're going to really brush shoulders with them type of people that's in the industry and that can open them type of doors, you know what I mean? But it's a lot of talent out there. It's a lot of people really working, you know what I mean? And I feel like this is our time, man, because I'm, I'm, I work with a lot of people out there. For this Tip Her project, it was a lot of people that's factors in the city that came together to make right. this project work, man. And it's, I actually documented that. Shout out my cameraman, High Def, you know what I mean? Because Most Def. He, bringing everything to life as far as the visuals my graphics everything man he got really people he got people really in tune with what i got going on man yeah so uh i feel like you know y'all need to be on the lookout for minneapolis man for real most Come. definitely and one thing that i think is real dope you mentioned gary and you mentioned michael jackson it's dope how 
legendary Michael Jackson's from there, and legendary Prince. You see what I'm yeah, saying? So like both, it's it's, yes, it's dope. So you definitely got some legendary, you know, yes, shoes sir. to fill, homie. You know, yes, as far sir. as music. So let's talk about the. Uh, you got a project coming out in June, right? Yes, sir. Let's Blood, talk about sweat, this. Tears and years, man. Okay. Um, my label is One Thousand Entertainment. And that's just how we come in the dirt bags. What we represent is just, gotcha. you know what I mean, realism, man. We come from them environments where it's real hard for people like us. The odds is against us. People that's not familiar or, you know, on the outside looking in, they count right. us out. You know what I mean? And, and we just feel like we the same type of people. We want better for our lives. We want to raise our kids right. We want education. We want to be successful. We just come from them places where it's harder. We got to work harder. We got to grind harder, but we still real men, you know what yeah, I mean, that represent yeah. real things. Yeah. We just diamonds in the rough, you know what I mean? Most definitely. So yeah. what's the date for that uh, Blood, Sweat, Tears, and Years uh, project? Man? It's going to be the end of June, man. Okay. The, okay. Um, you can log on gijizzle.com, and that's going to give you all the updates that you need. You can also get familiar with the music. It's going to link you to everything we got going on. And, um, yeah, just stay in tune, man, because it's going to be real hard. Now, I did mention legends and being legendary. You actually got the legendary Kingpin Skinny Pimp on that project. Man, how you link with the homie, man? How that happen? My brother Young Smoke, man. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? He, uh, They was getting it in in Houston. You know what I mean? They was real cool. And, uh, you know, I told him that we needed to make this Memphis move yeah. with the Tip Her song. Because, you know, we got to get in the South with that. And he plugged me with him. And. We got to networking and it was all love, man. He lined up the whole itinerary for the whole weekend. Most definitely. So, like I said, let's dive back into that money made weather situation. Oh. Oh. Now, I was doing my journalism work and I saw that Mayweather made you stop the performance so that you can perform in front of him. Like, restart it. Like, Crazy. start it. Turn it over. So Crazy. How, man, what did that feel like, man? We talking about million dollar money, man. Mayweather, like, how did that feel, feel like, homie? It was, it's, it's unexplainable, man. Like, you know, I, I'm i just grateful for the opportunity. Yeah. We, uh, you know, once he in the building, everybody, all yeah. eyes on him. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And they like, you going on first, yeah. you know what I mean? So I had to, you know, I'm getting in my zone. I start performing, and, you know, I just, I kind of blanked out. I ain't see nothing. I'm just performing and not knowing that, you know, I had his attention the whole time. Right. He heard the music come on. He actually came from where he was at to the rail because he was at a higher level than yeah, where yeah, he was at. Yeah. So he came to the rail, and he was actually watching it once he started feeling it. He was trying to get my attention. Everybody trying to get my attention, but right. I'm in my zone. You're in the now. zone, right, right. The whole song go off, and I'm getting ready to go in the tipper, and they finally, like, he just tapped me, like, bro, look. I look up there, he like, <laughs> oh, man, get that's up dope. There, he say, we all, we, they want to see you. We want to hear you. We yeah. put me right in front of this section, and wow. he was like, man, start it over. Yeah. And holler at the DJ, run that back, and uh, it was over from there, man. I, I put on a good show, man. We did real good, and, uh, he was the he, he hollered at me afterwards. You most dope, I mean? most dope. That. That's dope. That's dope. Definitely got to shout out King Pin, Skinny Pimp, yes, Link the King. You know what I'm saying for making that thing happen as well as money. Mayweather, yes, hey, sir, yes, sir. going down, it's going down. All right, so we we did talk about Tipper, man. You got it on World Star, man. Yes, sir. I don't man. see that too often, man. So you really investing in your grind, man. You really investing in your craft, man. Definitely, man. We believe in it, man. We got a vision. We've been planning this forever and yeah. forever, man. Like this dude right here. I've been knowing him for about 12, 13 years. Got you, you know got I mean? you, like got we've you. Been, we've been doing this for a while, so, you know, to just be blessed enough to be put in a position to right. actually bring it to life. And, right. You know, we're going hard for it, whatever we got to do. You know so, I mean? in addition to the single, like, it transformed into a whole different campaign. I see you got merch over oh. there. Yes, sir. Look it's like, look like boy shorts. I'm just, I mean, I'm just spectating. Look yeah. like boy shorts. Yeah. So what's popping with it, man? Where, where can the ladies pick that up? The concept behind that, the tip her, gijizzle.com. You okay. go on there, ladies. It's going to direct you to everything you need. You can put your sizes in and all that. Gotcha. We got different color schemes. But, you know, strip club. It's a strip club song, the Shake Joint, which yeah, I call yeah, it. Yeah, Shake Joint, baby. Yes, shake sir. Junk, you know yes, I mean? sir. Yes, sir. So, you know, Tip Her is basically, I be in the strip club all the time. You know what I mean? I'm a real strip club guy. I, I got a relationship with the ladies in the town where I be going, and they 
talk about the guys coming in and not tipping. Wow. And they talk about, you know, just. You mean to tell me in 2019, cats still ain't tipping? They just man, going to watch? Be surprised. Watch. They be, they be trying to do stuff they need to pay for. Window shopping? Man, Come on, man. You can't shoplift in the shake zone. Man, what is you doing? What is you doing? Crazy, Come on, man. Crazy. So, you know, once um I really had gotten to working on my album. Gotcha. And, um, you know, we spitting what we going through at the time. And uh, I put the beat on, me and bro sitting vibing. I'm like, bro, you need something for the strip club. And not even five minutes later, not five seconds later, yeah. he came up with the concept of that song. And I was like, oh my goodness, you own the song. Because I'm a strip club guy, so I'm gotcha. like, tip her. I said just a song for the girl. Right. He said, tip her. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I love you. You know what I mean? <laughs> we went to the studio, we recorded it. You know what I mean? I hit my man Momo, he jumped on that. and. Ever since I, my buddy uh, DJ Inferno, he DJ at the strip club half the week. I gave it to him. He loved it. He actually jumped on the song yeah. and helped hype it up. And it was like the energy that it brought, man, and, and how people gravitated towards it. I knew we had something. And then I'm like, okay, what else can we do? Right, you know right. Because we want to keep elevating. And then we make some outfits for the girls got you got you so they can have more incentive yeah to get their money and also it's gonna push you know what i mean the people that's not spending money to right. the side right right and let the real guys that come and enjoy this and come to do what we can do you, you know, know I mean? I'm, I'm i'm sensing a tip her challenge coming yes. soon you that's know what I'm, coming. I'm just I'm, I'm feeling i feel it in my soul brother i feel it i feel yeah. it so it's coming soon it's coming. but let's talk about the dirt bags gear man what's oh, up with yes, that sir, man. Dirtbag gang, man. It's a movement, man. The city of Minneapolis yeah. is really rallying behind us, man. They know that we real dudes. And um, we just trying to take something that looks dirty and looks un presentable and make it clean you know what i mean have something that we can stand on that represent where we come from there's been conversations i've had with people and it's not even just a white person or a black person it's just people that's not from them and type of environments that have a whole stereotype or stigma of us and it's kind of like it's annoying because we we real dudes man we good parents we smart i was an honor roll student you know wow. what i mean i just wanted more sooner i wasn't patient and you know I come from an environment where the things that we seen is what we wanted, you know what I mean? So it just is what it is, but at the end of the day, I'm still intelligent, and now I'm taking that street mentality and I'm turning it into business, you know what I mean? And that's what a dirt bag is. Be real. Believe that, GIJizzle.com. Hey, for all your merchandise needs, they got you. All right, man, so in addition to music, you know, being an entrepreneur, like what else you into in your spare time, if you have any at all? Um, lately it hasn't been much spread time. I'm just into my kids, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just had my first um biological son at the end of uh seventeen. Okay. He about he about seventeen months right now. Yeah. Right after that I ended up getting shot. Wow. You know what I mean? And that kinda is how the tip hurt came along too. That's a long story, but um I, it's all gonna be on the documentary. Stay tuned for the. Be on the lookout for the Tip Her documentary. Shot by High Def, edited. Man, he crazy with it. He gonna bring it to y'all in the raw. Like I got everybody that's involved with the project on the documentary. Right, from right. The, the DJ to the model I did the um the, the photo shoot with with the Tip Her gear to the owner of the strip club who let me shoot the, the video in there. The girls that were in the video, the produce everybody that had something to do with this project yeah. is on there and it's going crazy. And um, yeah, man, just stay tuned, man. GI Jizzle. We just might have to spin that tipper on the Brink TV show. We got to play that video, you know. I see, I see, I love big booties, you know. So I love big butts, and I cannot lie, you know what I'm saying. You feel me, you feel me. Go ahead, run all that social media, man. GI underscore Jizzle on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Facebook, GI Jizzle, man. It's all the same. It's only one, the original. Google it. It's the website, gijizzle.com. It's not going to be hard to find the boy, man. For real. Believe that. Last question I got for you, brother. Let's say there's an aspiring artist out there that's watching this interview, but they thinking about giving up. What advice would you have for them? You got to stay dedicated, man. You got to believe in yourself. You can't let the, the obstacles and the bumps in the road deter you because they're going to come. They're unavoidable. This is not an easy task. You're not going to get rich and you're lazy. You're not going to get rich and you're not dedicated. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's inevitable, man. You stick to it, you work hard, and you believe in yourself. You're going to get results, man, one way or another.
For real. And make sure you tip her because, hey, Dang. it's 2019. Like Dang. I say, no window shopping, no shoplifting in the club. You hey, can't do that, man. Got to get it popped. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. But I got to say thank you again for coming on the show, brother. Absolutely. Making this trek to Memphis. Like I say, you putting on a strong campaign right now. I see what you got going. Yeah. Like I say, we go spend that video. Man, that's love. Yeah. Man. I appreciate you for having me, man. Memphis has been great. I love Memphis. We're going to be back here very soon. You feel me? Believe that with that being said, now back to more Brink TV.